In this review we look at two models which combine to make one model. These are by Drake Collectibles and here is the first model. It comes in high quality packaging and here we can see that it's a T909 Prime Mover. It's a Kenworth and the ticket on the box tells us it's a light blue colour. Quickly on the way bridge and it's £1.3 ounces or just over half a kilogram. Out come the insides and first we can see there's a booklet with it and we'll see that again shortly. And then we need to do some very high speed knife work to separate the two trays. With that done we lift off the top tray and there's the model sitting inside. This model looks like it's got the hump but in fact there's just a spacer underneath which is part of the packaging so we'll just take that off. And now that everything's ship shape we can take a look at the booklet that comes with it. And this is a high quality Kenworth marketing brochure and it gives good information about the real T909. The second model we're opening is a Freighter Easy Liner B Double. And the overall packaging is of the same quality. Onto the Weybridge and it's £2.14 ounces, or about 1.3 kilograms. Again, the box is branded and we can see that we've got two box trailers. And on the back, there's some information about the real trailer. Again, the ticket on the box shows it's in a light blue colour scheme. You know it's an Australian model when it comes out of the box upside down, so let's flip it over and see what we've got. And as you can see there are books, parts and much more tape to cut. Included with the Easy Liner is some paperwork and we start with another marketing brochure. And again, this is a nice glossy read that tells you something about the company and the products that Freighter make. Next is a reference card and it helps you name the various configurations of trailers. And finally, there's an instruction sheet covering the main features of the Easy Liner model. On we go with the assembly and the first thing we need to do is to fit the mirrors to the T909. And these are metal and they fit into preformed holes. Thankfully they're a good fit so they don't easily drop out. Also included with the model is this optional towing hitch. And if you want it you can fix it to the front by peeling off the back and it then would stick on. But we won't use it and there are also some optional signs that you can stick on to the front bumper in the same way by peeling off the back. The overall model is in three parts so let's weigh them all to see how much it weighs in total. And it's £2.13 ounces, or for the metrically inclined 1.28 kilograms. The clue is in the name of the B-double because it consists of two trailers. And here we've carefully connected the airlines. And then we have to secure it onto the fifth wheel. And that does take a little bit of dexterity. There are some parts we can add, so we should probably include some spare wheels. And there's space to add a couple. There's also storage racks, and we can add some removable gates and carry those on board. Even though I'm not sure we really need them. There are optional stickers, so we like trains. So we'll add the road train sign onto the back. Once the B-double combination is fully formed, we can then connect it up to our prime mover. Again, we've carefully connected up the airlines, and there's a bit more jiggery-pokery required to operate the fifth wheel and make the connection. So, now that we've decided to form a road train, we can put stickers on the front of the prime mover. We dive under the T909 and it's high quality detailing all the way. That includes the engine and gearbox and there are hoses also running to the rear axles. And the underside of chromework is also highly detailed. 
A very nice touch on the model is the soft mud flaps. And the detailing of the rear axles also looks impressive. Moving on to the tyres, and there's a different tread pattern on the rear and front axles. Moving to the front, and the big etched grille is excellent, and it has a Kenworth badge at the top. The lights look convincing, and there's also a very small licence plate. The big sleeper cab has got a nice aerodynamic shape at the top, and there's an extremely thin and long aerial. Also on the roof is an array of horns and lights, and of course there's windscreen wipers. Side on and the model looks great starting with the wheels, and there's excellent etching on the side of the engine cover. The high detail continues with the cab door, but what's really exceptional is the exhaust system, including the etched in Kenworth name. In close up you can see the finer details in the sleeper part of the cab, and that's matched by the very high quality etched steps. Let's move round and take a look at the back of the cab. And the fairings are nicely formed and there are also lights detailed. The coiled lines are excellent and they also have an attachment point when they're not connected to a trailer. Other details include high quality textured surfaces. And there's a very nice etched wheel in front of the fifth wheel. The high quality chrome work continues with the wheel arches. The rear wheels look bright, and detailing at the back maintains the high standard. For the trailers, let's start by looking underneath the A trailer. And it also has a high standard of detailing with hose lines running to the rear axles. And there's very good modelling of both the structure and also the rear axles. And there are also more soft mud flaps. Moving on to the bigger B trailer, and underneath it's of the same standard. And overall it has a pleasingly high metal content. Moving on to the outside of the trailers, and they have a very pleasing finish. And both the graphics and paintwork are excellent. The trailer wheels are bright and shiny. And one small point is that the B trailer sits high on the fifth wheel. And it seems it's because it has a long kingpin. Both trailers have nice looking boxes underneath. The B trailer has got very well detailed doors, and there is chrome highlighting on the door locks. The rear lights and signs all look sharp. Moving back to the T909, and it has steering on the front axle which is notched, and it achieves a harder lock in one direction than the other. The wheels on the rear axles spin together, and as you can see there's a decent suspension mechanism. It rolls along fine in a straight line, and if we adjust the steering we can get a shallow angle. The engine hood opens fully and it tilts right forward, and it's rewarding too because it gives you a sight of the detailed engine underneath. The hood is engineered well so it fits very nicely. And the cab doors are also a very good fit, so you need to use the included pointer to get them open. You need to be a little careful when opening them not to knock the mirrors off. But once you're inside there's another nice feature, and that is the air ride seats, which you can bounce up and down on. The fifth wheel is fully functional and it slides forwards and backwards, and it's also got a proper locking handle. Moving on to the trailers, and the functionality is very similar with independently sprung axles. And the landing legs can be fully screwed down, and that gives the trailers stability when they're not connected to a prime mover. The A trailer has a locking fifth wheel, and when everything's fully connected up, it all rolls along perfectly with each of the wheels rotating. So the overall model engineering is excellent. We can also try out the trailer suspensions, and they have a nice stiffness and movement. Another feature of the B trailer is the opening rear doors, and what's really nice is that the interior of the trailer has a full lining and textured floor. So we've set up our road train, let's see how long it is. It's time for a dim check, so we'll get the tape out. And end to end it's nearly 22 inches or 55 centimetres. Of course as another configuration you can just put the B trailer straight onto the prime mover.
Drake Collectibles has a reputation for high quality and highly detailed models, and this combination set lives up to the reputation. It is a very attractive model, and there's also some really nice functionality as well. So if you're a fan of Australian haulage, or just very high quality models, this set is excellent. Excellent.